Hey guys, Phil here, playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've seen some questions throughout the community about how to make money with time travel. So, in this video, I'd like to walk you through the process of the top ways to make a lot of bells with time travel, and we're getting started right now. If you're an Animal Crossing fan and want to learn more secrets, tips, and tricks, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got the links for you down below. Alright, for the new players, let's briefly cover how to properly time travel with Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm going to run through this very quickly. Step number one is you save your game and close the game from the Switch's home screen. Step number two, you're going to go to System Settings, System, then Date and Time. And then step number three, turn off Time Auto Sync, and then from there you can adjust your date and time. Gaining interest on your money in the game is the same as gaining interest on your money in real life. The more money you have in the account, the faster it'll grow. The bank on Animal Crossing New Horizons has a built-in interest payout calculation. As you put money into your savings account, it'll start to collect interest over time. Here's how to do it. Step number one. Deposit no less than 80,000 bells into your savings account, save your game, and exit completely by closing the software from your Switch home screen. Step number two, adjust your console time settings by turning off automatic sync and adjusting the time to 20 years in the past. Step number three, launch the game and immediately save and close, and then close the game once again from the Switch's home screen. Step number four, adjust your console time settings once again by time leaping forward 20 years or you can turn automatic sync back on. And then step number five is launch Animal Crossing New Horizons and look in your mailbox. You will have received a letter notifying you of almost 100,000 bells worth of interest. You can most certainly continue to repeat this process as many times as you'd like. Although, stay tuned for the negative consequences portion of this video so you stay informed on how to do this method properly. So I know that time traveling is a pretty touchy subject in the Animal Crossing world. I personally don't have a problem with it. I don't see there being that big of a deal. But give me some feedback, what do you guys think? When you find a small glowing spot on the ground, you'll dig it up and find 1,000 bells. You'll rebury it and it produces a small money tree sapling. Once the tree is fully grown, it'll produce three 1,000 bell bags. Hey, it's a pro tip! So once you bury the money and you have a little tree sapling, you can actually dig that right back up and place it somewhere of your choice. You don't have to actually leave it there in the ground. I recommend planting 10,000 bells, and here's why. So the money gained from the money tree is all based around statistics and probability. So if the player plants 99,000 bells in every glowing spot every day for a year, they will have planted about 36 million bells. Now with 30% of the trees being about 300,000 bells and 70% of them being 30,000 bells, you can expect to harvest about 40 million bells from money trees for a profit of about 4.1 million bells which is about 11.5% profit. If the player plants 10,000 bells in every glowing spot every day, they will have planted 3.6 million bells. And then they'll have a 100% chance of getting three 10,000 bell bags from every tree guaranteed. And that totals about 10.9 million bells. The profit is 7.3 million bells, which equals a whopping 200% profit. So what that is saying is that if you're going to the max of 99,000 bells planted, then your chances are likely to be about a 11.5% profit. And if you plant 10,000 bells, then you're guaranteed a 200% profit, totaling almost 11 million bells. Now, with all that being said, let's get to the process. Step number one, launch your game, find the glowing spot, dig it up, and place the money amount of your choice in the ground to create the money tree sapling. Dig it up, and move it to a spot of your choice. Step number two is save the game and exit completely. Adjust your time to fast forward one day. Step number three is basically repeating step number one, which is basically finding the new glowing spot on the ground, create your money tree sapling, and place it in the spot of your choice. Save, exit the game, and adjust your time settings to move forward one more day. And then step number four is you know, eventually you can start to harvest the money trees, and that should take about four days per tree. Okay, so you already know how you can log into the resident services terminal every day and get your 50 nook miles. Well, you can still do this with time traveling as well, but you have to log in 
consecutive days in a row in order to get the compounded nook miles. So in other words, you can't travel backwards or travel forward more than one day if you want to receive the compounded amount of nook miles from the resident services terminal. Alright, so there are a few downsides to time traveling that I'd like to point out. Number one is the fact that there are going to be weeds everywhere. So as you start time traveling in either direction, any amount of time, your island will start to gain more and more weeds. This will affect your star rating, so be sure to get them cleaned up soon if you are worried about that type of thing. And number two is your residents may start to leave. If you time travel too much, then residents may start to feel neglected. But just keep this in mind. I mean, I've done this several times. I've not had any major issues out of it. Typically, if I see a uh, resident that's starting to have a little cloud over their head or have a little purple swirly over their head, then I'll just give them a present or talk to them a couple of times and that kind of reverses anything that, that could have negatively impacted them uh, from time traveling. Alright, so here's some bonus tips about time traveling. Number one is that the fact that you can skip ahead to different seasons, but you can't skip ahead to the various events or holidays. Nintendo's actually uh, is releasing these events such as like Christmas and New Year's Day with patches. So unless you have the patch applied, you can't actually skip forward to that event. You can only skip forward to uh, the, the Christmas season with the snow and the, and the Christmas lights on the trees and things like that. And number two is absolutely whatever you do, do not tra time travel with turnips. If you time travel backwards, they'll spoil. And if you time travel past the next Sunday, then they will definitely spoil. However, I will say that you can most definitely set your Nintendo Switch date to Sunday. You can buy turnips on your, on your home island and then travel to someone else's island to sell them as long as that other person's island is not on Sunday. And number three is there's a lot more to time traveling that I didn't mention in this video because this was geared more towards making fast money. However, there are a few other things that you could do each time you time travel such as mining your rocks for resources, fruit gathering, you can check your Able Sisters or Nook's Cranny shops for new items, or really anything else that you would do on a normal day. If you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to please the YouTube algorithm and smash that like button. And so you're notified of more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.